Rita Schwartz. So I'm Eileen Goswelly. My name is Chuck Ayer. I'm Lynn Bowles. And my name is Denasia Jordan. I'm Jerry Welsh. Hi, I'm Stephanie Blythe. My name is David Johnson. My name is Dorothy Albert Gregory. My name is Mark Davey. My name is Vicki Hayes. I'm Katie Hess. I'm Steve Emmerman. My name is TK Huff. My name is Brianne Borden. I'm Jay Morali. Uh, my name is Sean Atkinson. Well, I'm Glenn Zagorski. What brings us here is the whole idea of taking the lead, uh, the campaign at Potsdam. A campaign is about letting everybody in the world know how great we are, and those who don't know us, we want to encourage them to get to know us. Those who do, we want them to remember us and help ensure that future students can have the same academic excellence with their programs that they had while they were here. I love Potsdam and everything about it. And I, I love the energy here. I love the sense of renewal that I get every time I come here. This is the place where I discovered who I was. This is the place where I discovered I wanted to become a performer. And the place where I was allowed to make my mistakes and make my experiments. We're in a remote area. When people drive up here, they're like, well, where's Potsdam? Watertown was a while ago. When you get here, you think, you, you think well, what is there to do? Well, this is what there is to do. There is a chance to focus, to let the rest of the world go away, and just think about this, whatever you're doing. It was different. It wasn't, it wasn't like the average city, you know, cars and ambulances and tall buildings. It was secluded, it was nice, and it was just different. After meeting the students and the staff and faculty and non-teaching staff, that uh, I fell in love with the people, and the people really kept me here. It's a family. <laughs> It really is. I can walk around campus and recognize most faces and say hi to a lot of them. <laughs> I've made so many connections coming back every year because I graduated in 1980 and I've been back every July since 1980. I've never missed a reunion and uh, you can't keep me away from here. <laughs> I came here in a very strange time in, in history and I say to people very candidly I was a minority in New York City. Pierce ears, loud music, Democrat, Jewish, you name it, whatever there was, I was the minority. And I stuck out a lot. And so I had to either blend or be myself. And the school helped me to be myself and to learn who I was even more. The truth of the matter is that when I was here, it was exactly the right place for me. A supportive, small environment, just exactly what Potsdam is today, focusing on people and on individuals, the faculties, care and concern. Probably like most 18-year-old kids who show up as freshmen in college, I was a little bit full of myself and, uh, and I started my classes here and I had a couple of teachers, uh, one in particular I remember, her name was Dr. Law, and uh, she was honest enough with me to say that my work just wasn't up to standards. And if I wanted to succeed here, I was going to have to do a lot better than I was doing. And I took that seriously, and that helped me for my entire life, realizing that uh, I always have to expect more of myself. And I can remember going into Dr. Chadwick's class. She was teaching reading, and she was showing all these basils, and she was doing all this stuff, and I was just thinking, oh man, I'm going to be in trouble because I don't like this either. And then Chadwick, in only a way that she can, she took these basal readers and she said, if you want to teach kids how to read, you throw this in the garbage and you use real literature. And it was that moment I said, wow. As I tell her, she lit my fire and she continues to be my mentor today. Dan Hurley, who was the Dean of Students, is still, to me, a father figure. We still see him every time we come to Potsdam, he and his wife, Jane and I learned how to, how to be a human being, I think. I came up here, I think it was the summer of 75, and I saw the brand new Crank Complex 
I think it was a couple years old and I just fell in love with it. And then when I came for my audition, I auditioned with John Jadlos and oh my goodness, he was just so warm and so um, personable. And um, see, here I go. And so um, I just knew I wanted to have him as a teacher. And I studied with him for four years and I still see him every year. And it's, this is what Potsdam is. It's the personal connections. When I came here as a student, I didn't feel like a number or just, you know, I felt important to my professors and um, I still feel important. So when I come back every summer, I feel like I'm home. And it's just a special place. And I can't believe I'm crying like this. In the business of education, we say we want students to have as many choices as possible. Well, when you attend Potsdam, first of all, you get a broad experience in liberal arts, and that gives you more choices. So you can graduate from here and go in many, many directions. All of those paths are open and available to you immediately upon graduation. Nothing is closed to you. I loved it here. I think I blossomed in Potsdam and it was not as a student, it was more as a leader. And today, I still lead a large department and I'm on a leadership team for a publicly traded company. So those early leadership experiences, I think taught me well and positioned me well. I think it's the best of both worlds. It's got the academic foundation, it's got a strong and rigorous curriculum. We have great professors and great instructors that prepare our students very well. Uh, that can compete with any college in the country. This well-rounded sort of an education as opposed to something that's purely technical, uh, it really works in this field. So I feel as though I actually had a jump on things. Um, and I'm, I'm a relationship manager in IT, so I, uh, I really trace that back to the experience that I had here. There are more opportunities to be involved in, attend, be exposed to all different areas in the arts in our campus. And I think no matter what program anybody is in, the arts shine through. Even students who are not majoring in dance can participate in the dance ensembles. If you're not studying drama, you can still participate in the stage productions. So all of those things are available to you and they cost money. So there's, there's a great need for financial support for the various arts programs that we have. People do invest in other avenues. I mean, they have many things that they invest in, but uh, to me it's uh, the combination of those values of Potsdam, of the students, the education, the music, all of that as a whole is, is something I value greatly, and I want to be a part of it, and I want them to feel that way as they go through life. When people give, I think it has a really big impact on supporting all aspects of the college. The fund at Potsdam is an area where funds go, and if there's a need that we can't anticipate comes up, then that need is fulfilled. You know, there are always things that we're doing here to try to create that best experience for our students. In the beginning, it kind of annoyed me. I thought, they, I, I want to pick what I give. Then I started looking into what comes out of the unrestricted funds. And as a business person, flexibility is critical. And what those funds give the college is flexibility. Honestly, first off, being awarded with an academic scholarship is an honor in itself. The fact that there are alumni out there that are willing to give money to people like me they've never met, maybe will never meet, uh, just to really give me the opportunity to come to school here. I wouldn't be able to otherwise. It really drives me further, it gives me more people to feel like I should be working for and makes me want to do the same when I get out of here. For me it's still a matter of diversity. I still want to get more young people from urban areas to this kind of world because I think this kind of world is very special and very important in, in the growth of someone. You get a protection here, you get an education that is very specific and yet very broad. My girlfriend, one of my best friends, was an adjunct professor here and uh, 
At the age of 45, she lost her life to cancer, and she taught in our MST program. She was a stay-at-home mom. She would teach for us part-time, but children were everything to her. But the working parent was also important, so I wouldn't take that money back now <laughs> for anything. Um, I give a scholarship in honor of my best friend um, to a student, um, non-traditional, trying to work their way through college and probably uh, raising kids and dealing with a part-time job. Uh, and it's so easy to give. When, you know, and I encourage anybody, if you could have a connection, there's no better way to honor somebody. And Michelle would be so proud about that. I think colleges used to be the sort of thing that just kind of went along and students were in it for a period of time and then you know they graduated and then they kind of went on their way and and maybe it's just my changing perspective too but uh, I think uh, in this era of uh, decreasing budgets and other sorts of things um, you know the future that I hope for Potsdam is for people to um, you know think and remember of the things that they appreciate and the things that they took away from this place and that they give back and um, that's what we're doing. People helped me out and I couldn't have done it without them. So I knew it was important for me to, to, to find someone like me who wouldn't have gotten through college without some help. So I'm sure I only gave like five bucks the first year out. But I, I have, and, and my tax records I've given every single year, maybe it's not matching pots since fiscal years, but, and I, I will always continue to. I, I feel this pri intense pride and I, I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to give back um, because I want, I want to continue to be proud of this place. I want another generation of young folks to have the same opportunity that I had to come here. And so when I come up here, I feel as though I'm engaging in the process of helping future generations have the same experience. You give back when you get something. And that to me is, is a very, you know, sort of rudimentary belief. If you, if you give, if you get something and, and you're able to give back, whether it's money or time, um, then, then I, you know, my moral obligation is to do so. So I got a lot here. When I think of Potsdam and our university here, uh, I think of how pleasant it is to, and was to watch it grow uh, from when I came in 1968 with in, not only improvements in the facilities, but improvements in the uh, curriculum and the students and uh, the ability to give good academic scholarships. We're just improving each year with everything that they do at Potsdam. And I think it's, it's a pride of Northern New York. In being someone who is in the third century of Potsdam graduates, I'm just, I'm so honored every day that I came here. It was the best choice that I could have made for me. And while I may go on and do other things and go to other places, I'm going to be bringing this tradition of excellence with me no matter where I go.